Hey YouTube, Commander Tech here. Today I'm going to be doing an app review on Siege Hero. This app isn't totally new to iOS, but has been recently updated and once again reached iOS's top apps. Another thing you might want to know is that this app is now free. Yes, I said free. This app was previously 99 cents and 199 on the iPad, but now Armored Games, the developer of this game, made it free. It's a great game that I've been playing for a while. It might look like a bit like Angry Birds, but this actually came out a year before Angry Birds did. This is an exciting game with samurais, knights, and vikings. The items you can throw are rocks, stones, fire, and bombs. The objectives are the rocks, wood, and ice structures. This is a physics type game which requires some skill and precision to guide the objects through the air and into the structures in the right places. The fewer items you throw, the higher score at the end of the level is. In some levels you have to avoid the peasants and villagers. This game has a decent story mode with cute little characters. To beat a level you have to kill all the bad guys. After you complete that, you move on to the next level. When completing levels, you get check marks. Do really good and you get a crown. Crowns aren't just for bragging rights. Crowns also unlock treasure levels which can give you more score and cause you to have a higher ranking on the game center leaderboards with your friends. That brings us back to the other cool add-ons in the game. Some of these are the game center integration that allows you to compare scores with friends and achievements. You can get some of the achievements from just playing the game or other achievements you might need to try to get but it offers a decent amount of achievements. Oh, and feel free to add me on Game Center to see if you're better than me. My Game Center is on the screen now and will be in the description of this video. Okay, now back to the gameplay. The weapons. The weapons will get better as you move on to higher levels. The basic weapons are the stones, which provide some damage and the rocks provide more damage over a bigger area. The fire, practically a Mardikov cocktail, sets fire to wood and melts ice. The bombs, well, they blow stuff up. The oil barrels are good to use in risky situations where you need to knock out the bad guys, but to keep the good guys safe. I'm sure you'll find this game really fun if you like physics type games or Angry Birds type games, but I have to warn you that this game gets addicting. Another nice thing about this game is that you can just pick up the game and start playing. You can play it while you're waiting for a bus or waiting for a red light to change green, but remember I am not responsible for your safety and do not encourage you or others to put you or others in danger. But I'm sure you get the point of what I'm trying to say about this game. The game has good graphics, good music. One of the cons are that some of the levels are too easy, but this just means that you can always try and get those crowns on the levels. Another nice thing is how they're always planning to update the game. You can download this game for free, but even if it was 99 cents, it would still be worth it. And that's practically it for this review. Please hit the subscribe button above this video and you'll be updated whenever I post new videos. As always, I'm Commander Tech and I am signing out.